Ahoy mateys, the Wild West updated and today I'm going to show you how to deal with the Skinwalker and what it gives you. The chief of Little Rock Reservation seems to be having some issues with the Skinwalker. He explains to you how you spawn it and if you can kill it and show him the proof, he will give you some items. Let's start off with how you spawn it. Firstly, you're going to need an extractor from the main event of the update. You will get it from the underground base in the church area during a live event. You will also need at least 9 empty vials, probably more. To spawn the skinwalker once, you will need 3 vials. One from a dead bison, one from a bear, and the last one from a deer. I recommend just killing three or more of the animals, each in bulk. The Skinwalker drops three different items, however he'll only drop multiple of one of them each time he dies. That means you'll have to kill him multiple times and hope that each time he drops a different item. I got lucky enough for my first bear to be a lightning struck bear. I let the person who found it first have the pelt, but then someone brutally slaughtered him right next to me, so of course I couldn't let that slide. I was going to give the pelt back to the original owner, and I was writing in the chat forever, but he never showed up and never claimed it, so I ended up getting it. Anyways, right after that I found another lightning bear, and so I killed that and got its essence and its pelt. Once you have all your vials, wait for it to be nighttime. This is at 6 p.m. You're going to be right around here in the Tribal Forest Little Rock Reservation slash Silvertown area right before the bridge. Remember, for spawning the Skinwalker, be sure that it's nighttime and you are alone. You're going to drop the vials around here. And then, once you've done that, run quickly over here so that when the Skinwalker spawns, he'll throw you in. Let's drop one of each. And head over there. You should not have to wait long. Boom. He hit me, and now I'm down here. If I weren't down here, he would be able to hit me even if I'm ragdolled. And if I tried to run away, he would be able to teleport and pull me back to him. It's practically impossible to kill him without a large group of people, unless you're using this glitch. He has a lot of health, but it should only take a few minutes to kill him. Just keep dropping vials and killing him, and you should get all the items eventually. He will drop bones, jaw, and skull. As you can see, I was able to kill him multiple times that night. Once you have all three of the items, give them back to the chief. As you can see, I unlocked the items. The skull should give you the two masks, the bone gives you the bow, and the jaw gives you the spear. This is what the items look like. One of the masks look like this, the other mask looks like this, but it looks a lot cooler if you add some glasses from the mad scientist costume. It looks as if you have red eyes. The bow does 50 to the body, and 140 to the head. First person looks like this. Yeah, you can't really see much of anything. The spear 
does 40 damage, but it's gonna have pretty good range, even though it does take a little while for, for each swing. First person. And I have to admit that on a horse, it looks really cool. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.